My time here in Cuba renews my hope and my confidence in what the Cuban people will do. We can make this journey as friends and as neighbors and as family together. Si se puede. Si se puede. Yes, we can. That was the message from President Barack Obama in a speech on Tuesday at the Grand Teatro in Havana, the centerpiece of his historic three-day visit to Cuba. With the 84-year-old Raul Castro looking on from the balcony, Mr. Obama urged younger people in Cuba to lift something up, build something new. In an address broadcast on live television, he told the Cuban leader that he did not fear the different voices of the Cuban people. By making such an overt appeal to a younger generation, Mr. Obama was deliberately speaking over the heads of the current leadership and trying to forge a link with the people who will shape the country's future once the Castros inevitably depart from the scene. During his time in Havana, Mr. Obama tried to pierce through decades of propaganda and make the case that the U.S. is no longer the enemy. I have come here to bury the last remnant of the Cold War in the Americas. Dealing so amiably with Mr. Castro as he did on the trip is not without its risks. The two men sat together later in the afternoon at an exhibition baseball game, and the Cuban leader went to the airport to wave off Air Force One. Mr. Obama's critics at home have been quick to accuse him of causing up to another authoritarian regime, and they say that his legacy will be defined more by the events such as Tuesday's terrorist attack in Brussels than by the Havana tour. But the president is betting that the repressive Cuban political system will not be able to survive a friendly engagement with its giant neighbor to the north. As well as the jarring difference in age between Mr. Obama and Mr. Castro, the other striking visual was just how closely the mixed-race American president resembled so many of the people who lined the streets of Havana to see him. And through the large population of Cuban Americans, Mr. Obama believes his opening to Havana has an irresistible advantage. This is not just about politics, he said. This is about family. This is Jeff Dyer for the Financial Times in Havana.